The death of George Floyd has prompted what is for many a long overdue reckoning with America's painful past, namely the Confederacy and the union of predominantly southern states that went to war to defend slavery. Well, that reckoning is now in full flow. Overnight, protesters here in Richmond, Virginia, toppled the statue of Jefferson Davis, who was the president of that Confederacy. While other monuments across the United States to the Confederacy are either being toppled or removed by authorities, few are more evocative than those of Jefferson Davis here in Richmond that was once the capital of that Confederacy and whose Monument Avenue is lined with statues to men who were once described as heroes, but for many now have no place in a country that is perhaps finally coming to terms with racial injustice and the treatment of African Americans. And the Confederate flag, that symbol that remains so offensive to African Americans, is finally being removed from much of public life. NASCAR sports car racing says it will no longer allow the Confederate flag or symbol to be flown at its events. And the U.S. Navy will no longer fly the Confederate flag. But this move doesn't have the full support of U.S. President Donald Trump, who says he's opposed to the renaming of military bases named after Confederate leaders. Before George Floyd's death, city authorities in Richmond had already put the wheels in motion to remove the Confederate monuments that fall under their jurisdiction. The question now is what happens to the statue of Robert E. Lee, the Confederate general who led Confederate forces into battle after battle and remains for many the most symbolic figure of the Confederacy. The governor of Virginia has ordered the removal of this statue, but that's being held up by a court injunction, a delay that's simply unacceptable for protesters who say monuments like this must be removed from such prominent display. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Richmond.